Happy Friday, everybody. So I have good news and bad news. Good news is I'm working on something super cool that I will share with you this weekend. Bad news, I only have part one today. But I think it'll be good to give you some context, let you know where I'm going, and also give you a chance to play around if you want to, to see if you can do it yourself and you know whether or not you like the idea. So the idea here is I'm in a company and I teach flow. And so I've posted a form for people in my company to fill out when they want to learn flow. Basically, they pick the course they want, they set the business justification, and they indicate the date they want to be done. Now, this is because each course takes some funding. We may offer lunch. We may have to get a venue. It all depends on how many people have signed up for what cost course and where it will be. So we want to make sure that we have the funding for this. And we've actually set up a team site with all the people who are willing to fund courses. So this team site has an Office 365 group. And what I wanted to do in this scenario is enable them to basically vote. So basically each person that submits a request, they can actually say, um, yes, I will allocate funding or no, I have no budget for that. Okay. And so basically I'm going to use our approval feature, but I'm going to use the new one. So just looking at this flow here. Um, I'm going to take you to a brand new flow page real quick. So my flows new instant, and let me just show you in case you haven't seen our newest approval options. But if you look at approvals, you will notice that when you create or any of these, you can choose to customize the responses. So you're used to approve, reject, but now we've added custom responses and you can do that for all, you know, waiting for all responses or only one. In this case, I have used the custom responses because I actually wanted to have allocated and no budget. So this was my choices. So I wanted to give them those choices because actually they're not approving. This is going to be very democratic in nature. It's going to, if the majority is allocated, it will get approved. If it is, if the majority is no budget, it will be rejected. If we have a tie, then the manager will get to hit approve. Okay. So kind of a fun scenario where we have like different customizations involved and lots of fun. Now the, Big, big difference in the customization as far as the voting goes is outcomes of these approvals are really just a list comma separated of what everybody said. But I actually wanted to have an algorithm that counts the number of times they clicked allocated versus budget so that I could decide whether or not it's approved or rejected. And so you'll see that I do something special to get my own outcome for this um, approval. And I handle all of this, all these transactions basically with the approvals and with SharePoint. And so I'm using SharePoint with the approvals to keep track of everything that's going on. Now, what these approvals kind of look like, did I show you? I don't remember if I showed you, but I meant to show you. When they get them, they can do allocated, no budget. So whatever you type in those custom spaces, that's what the approvals will see rather than approve reject. Okay. Now each time they get an approval sent to them, I'm actually capturing the, uh, date and time as well as the approval because here's where I'm going with this. So let's see if I can head over to power apps. Do I have a power apps handy somewhere? Let's see. So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go to power apps right here to show you what I'm really shooting for. So this is a, a very amazing flow that's taking care of monitoring what's going on and making it, um, possible to have a de democratic decision made. And this is all happening by flow. And you will get that in part two. I will walk through the flow in part two. But this is where I was heading is to raise visibility to all that. So I created an app 
that's connecting to what I'm capturing in the flow and is actually going to be embedded on the SharePoint site. And as a result of this being embedded on the SharePoint site or in the Teams instance where the voting is taking place, right? Because we can even post those cards directly to Teams, which means that now they can vote there and see what's happening there. So what I've done here is enables you to select any of the submissions and see what has happened so far. So basically the workflow has started and this one is still pending because I require everyone to answer. So it's really kind of up in the air because we haven't heard from Nesta and we haven't heard from Isaiah yet. Notice that Lydia added a comment. And so that bubble over there is her comment and everybody else is gray until that happens, right? So I go to this one, you'll see that everyone has already given their answer. Megan said allocated, Nestor said no budget, Isaiah said allocated, and so therefore it was approved, the majority wins, right? And then all the notes that they wrote are written over there on the right. Now I will be uh, making this UI much more interesting. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek, but you'll see how it'll end up. And then finally, I can see the ones that, whether they're rejected or, and you can see in this case, two people said no budget. And so therefore it was rejected. And then finally, this guy only has two. Did you notice how dynamic that visual is? And I'm sure you know how I did that. But this one has three participants in the approval. This one only has two participants in the approval and the the uh, visual is adjusting to whoever, however many approvers there are. So this is my sneak peek. You'll be hearing from me more probably by, so definitely by end of day Monday, but hopefully by Sunday, I will walk you through the flow and how I built this app. I hope this is interesting to you and I hope you have an awesome weekend. I look forward to talking to you soon.